Hey, good to be here with another Bible ABC. Good to go through the Bible, even just one letter at a time, looking at different things and what the Bible has to say about them. Whether you're a kid, a teen, or an adult watching, I hope you will base every single thing in your life from A to Z, everything we come up against here in 2021 and beyond, base it on the Word of God. Respond to every challenge, every struggle, every situation the way God wants us to, and rely on His Word. Today we're looking at doubts. Maybe something you struggle with deeply is, is this true or is that true or what am I going to do? How's this going to work out? Maybe you even have some doubts about God. Why is He allowing these things to happen and different things there? And we won't try to dig into every specific doubt, but I want to look at some general things from the Bible and what we can do when we have doubts, we have questions, we have things in our lives that don't make sense and we're not sure what's going on. And by the way, if you have specific doubts, specific questions about something and you'd like to talk, email me, message me, be glad to talk with you. Give me a call. Come on by the church. Glad to talk with you about those things. But I'm reminded, not our main passage for today, but I'm reminded about a time in the New Testament when John the Baptist, that guy that had really blazed the way, paved the way, blazed the trail for Jesus, announcing that the Messiah was coming, introducing him as the Messiah, doing these amazing things, actually baptized Jesus there. He went through a time where he actually was arrested, thrown in prison for taking a bold stand, and he started to have questions, to have doubts about, is Jesus the Messiah, or do we look for someone else? Maybe you've had some doubts, maybe some questions. I love how Jesus responds. Jesus wasn't able to talk face to face right then to John the Baptist, but some of John's disciples came to Jesus and asked him, and Jesus said, hey, go tell John what's been going on. I've been doing these miracles. I've been healing people. Look at what I've done. It shows that I'm the Messiah. And let me encourage you there. When everything else holds, falls apart and you don't know what to hold on to, you don't maybe even know what's true, hold on to God. Hold on to His Word. Jesus kindly reminded John through these people that we're going to go take the message to John that he is the Messiah. Look at what he's done. That proves that he's God. And take a moment, if you're struggling with doubts, going through a difficult time, maybe it has nothing to do with doubting God, but maybe doubting his goodness or just not knowing what to do next. Take a little time and remember everything God has already done for you. That'll help put those doubts in perspective. But by the way, John the Baptist, great man, had these doubts. Jesus could have just, you know, chewed him out or been like, this guy is ridiculous. How dare he doubt me? No, he responded kindly. We all have doubts. We all have questions. Let's hold on to God even tighter during those uncertain times. It's James 1, starting in verse 5, that really gives us some great insight on what to do when we don't know what to do, when we don't know what to hold on to, that we can hold on to God. James 1.5 says, if any of you lack wisdom, we can say that if any of you at any time don't have a clue what to do. Now, that's maybe a loose paraphrase, but basically, if you're confused, if you don't know what to do, if you need wisdom, need to know what to do next, let him ask of God. They give it to all men liberally. God's generous. He wants to show us what to do. He wants to give us his wisdom. And abradeth not. God's not going to get on to us. He's not going to chew us out for not knowing what to do. He's going to be glad we came to him to ask him. And it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think he shall receive anything of the Lord. In other words, when you don't know what to do, when you don't know where to go or what to hold on to, maybe you're losing hope, you've got doubts, you've got questions, hold on to God. Hold on to Jesus. Maybe you've got nothing and no one else to hold on to and you have no idea where to go. Go to God. Hold on to Him. You might not know the answers, but believe that He does and ask Him to show you what to do, and He'll do it. Very serious, big truth there. Let me illustrate it in a very simple, silly way. Uh, slap bracelet, always a good day when you get to play with a slap bracelet. I think I've said that before. But uh, one thing I've noticed about slap bracelets, I actually really noticed this the other night. I was playing with, uh, I think it was Addison's slap bracelet. It was on the couch. I was laying on the couch. Is If you take just one end, and if that end goes, the whole thing goes. You might have seen what I did there, and you might have done it a million times yourself. Not a big deal, but I'm just going to pinch just, just right there. Just pinch that one end, if I can there. But just get that one end to curl up. 
the rest goes. You can notice I'm not touching that end. That's the end you're going to see move, but I'm just, I got to get my fingers behind it there, but I'm just giving that a little twist. It's hard to do with just one hand, but uh, just affecting the one end and it all goes. There can be many things that fall apart in your life, but if you keep the main thing going, if you keep God as the one you're holding on to, the one that you're looking to, it'll all, it'll all hold together. But Satan, the devil, wants to work so hard to make us doubt God. We have doubts and confusions here in 2021 about what's going on and what's happening and when's school going to get back to normal? And am I going to get the coronavirus? Am I going to get the vaccine? If I get the vaccine, am I going to be sick? What's going on? What's God doing? We have questions. Hold on to God. If that one thing holds together, the whole thing will hold together. But if Satan can get you to doubt God, then you're going to have doubts and questions about everything and your life can in many ways fall apart. All we have to hold on to is just God. Let's stay connected to Him. Let's stay together with Him. I've recently been thinking a lot about the idea of just reconnecting, spending time connecting with God. And I just want to illustrate that real quick as we, as we get done. But this is a microphone. It actually would work if it were hooked up to anything. Now, it's designed to be a wireless microphone. It doesn't need a cord or a wire running there, but it does need a receiver. Uh, the receiver for this microphone, I believe, broke. It's gone. It's, if it's in a drawer somewhere, it's not hooked up to a thing. So I could put a battery on. I could you know, crank this. I could sing into it, talk into it. It's not going anywhere because it's not connected. For this to work, it would have to reconnect to whatever equipment it's supposed to be playing through, whatever sound system it's supposed to be going with. And there are times where we have doubts because we're not connected to God. Maybe you're a son or a daughter of God. You've accepted Jesus as your Savior, but you need to take that time to reconnect with God. Maybe it feels like He's not here in your prayers. He's not there. He is. He is there. If there's sin in your life, you need to get out, so hear your prayers. Do that. But sometimes we just need to take the time to reconnect with Him, to go deep with Him, to read God's Word, to spend extra time praying so we can be connected to Him and go through life the way He wants us to. God wants to answer our doubts, answer our questions, give us wisdom. God loves it when we go through those times that we don't know what to do if we'll turn to Him. He doesn't love that we have to go through these difficult times that He allows, but He wants us to come to Him and boy, that's an amazing thing. If we can come to him and say, God, I don't know what to do. Please show me. You're the one I'm holding on to. And he'll show us what to do next. Let's pray. Father God, thank you that you never leave us. You never forsake us. That you understand that we're humans. We're frail. We struggle sometimes. We'll go through times where we don't know what to do. And we have doubts and questions. Pray that those times will be sweet times where we'll hold tight to you. Maybe even tighter than normal. Spend time reconnecting with you and just get so close to you, seeking your wisdom, that you'll be able to show us what to do and you'll be able to help us all along the way. We thank you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.